spot I put y'all here is uh just gotta just talk to y'all real quick before before we go on mission, okay? Hey, so after this, this is kind of my last big thing with y'all. So this is kind of like my last big hoorah with y'all. This is it. This is so everything that you guys have done, everything that uh, you guys have accomplished, right? This right here is what's gonna tie it up. It's gonna knot it up, okay? Um, also wanted to pull you guys over too. The guy just talked to y'all and let y'all know how you guys have impacted me as a leader and just as a person, okay? Hey, so one and foremost, uh, I want to thank every single one of y'all. I want to thank every single one of y'all. Katusas, whether you was in the squad for a long time or not, it don't matter. You all are, I've always, um, I've always wanted that family type thing. And as you can tell, everybody sees it. And it's not to diss on nobody, but we know third squad's tight. Third squad's the tightest of all three squads. And, um, and as my leadership style, I wanted to have more of like a passive. I wanted your team leaders to control, uh, do their job. And I wanted you guys to be treated like people, okay? Um, so, so uh, it's like I said before, I can't thank you guys enough. I really can't. It's been a blessing that I was, I had each and every one of you guys as a part of my squad, right? You guys have always done your job and you've always done to the best of your ability. And I could not ask any more of you all. I couldn't. Um, there's been days that, uh, again, the team leaders have seen it firsthand. And I'm pretty sure some of y'all might have seen it. There's been days that I came to work and I just, I, I just wasn't feeling. I didn't have it in me. Product. I didn't. I really did not think this would be the final product. And and I can say that you guys have most definitely exceeded everything that I expected. You guys, again, um, you surprised me in so many ways. Uh, you guys were like a sponge and you sucked every, you uh, sucked everything in and you retained it, right? And it shows out here on these lanes. And, and I thank you guys for giving me the uh, sense of respect and loyalty that whenever somebody in my squad or my team leaders give you a, a, a task, you guys, if they say jump, you say ha ha. So I appreciate you guys. And I wanted to point you guys over because I want you to know this is the last, this is the last one. This is like, I leave August uh, 11th to 12th, right? So this is gonna be one of my last things you probably guys will see me. This is probably the last time we'll have each other as a whole. Cause you guys can go to the road. I'm not really gonna be on the road. I'm gonna be more as like a field patrol suit and platoon duty, getting ready to clear and getting ready to go home and go back to the rear, okay? Um, so now how you guys have been back to me, right? So I've had my mind constantly thinking about, man, I wanna get out the army. I wanna get out and I wanna go do better things cause the community obviously needs us. And I've stressed that to you guys a lot. The community and the outside world needs a lot of good people. The military can't withhold everybody because the only way you're gonna make a change on the outside is if you go and do something, correct? But always remember, right, why you do what you do, right? Always be passionate about what you do. Wherever you go, always remember to get those soldiers, your team, whether it's your team, whether it's your squad, always keep that family. Make sure, it's, don't make sure, when you go out to the States, you'll see it. It'll be a nine to five job because when they go home, some people live 30 minutes off post. They have a, they have a uh, kids and they have wife. Whereas here in Korea, it, it doesn't, right? You said you sleep in the same barracks, you're one, room, you're one door down, or you're five minutes the other way. You're, you're that close to all you guys, one another. And I want you guys to carry that mentality because when you go to the States, those PFCs and those specialists didn't, won't be, they've never been able to experience that. They haven't been able to experience that family life and that, that bond, that overseas bond. I get it, Korea's not a real uh, deployment, but you guys, it's overseas. And overseas is where you build that, that relationship, and you build a lot of long friends. Okay. Um, again, I want to have this talk with you guys because I want it to be fair to you guys to know that this is my last hoorah. This is this is what I. After this, I put it all on the table. I'm still going to be there again, like I said. But that's your next squad leader right there. So as soon as we get it on ground, he's already signed for everything, for almost everything. So I'm already finding my. I'm gonna start finding my way slowly out. It's not me saying, I don't want to be a part of you guys no more, but it's my time. It's my time to go on to the bigger army and go back to where I got to go, okay? I will most definitely miss this squad, and it's, it's a experience of a lifetime. It really is. And when you guys, you'll see it. Whenever you become a team leader and you feel empowered and you feel like, man, I can actually do, I'm actually doing things that you feel, you 
feel it. You just feel it. And once you put the stripes on it, it's different at first, but when you go to the AO or your company or wherever you go and you report, it's kind of like your chest sticks out a little bit more. And you walk a little different, you move a little different, you talk a little different. You start knowing things that you didn't think that you knew. Okay? Now I want you guys to know that. Every single one of you again, I'm gonna be keeping tabs on you all. The MP Corps is a small place, a small court. It's easy for me to be like, hey bro, where you going, Fort Drum? Okay, bet. I got, already got a buddy up there, Fort Drum. All right? So hey, I, I again, from, the, from everything, from the beginning to the end, I gave you guys everything I had. I really did. At first, you know, now that you guys see where I am, at first I was gonna ETS. Now, I'm a little nervous with that one ETS. I really am. Depends on the time and the place to see what opportunities come up. I might continue leading soldiers. I might continue uh, in this army. But it's whatever God, it's whatever God has in plan. Okay. But I want to thank every single one of y'all, and I'm thankful that you guys, because you guys taught me a lot. Y'all did. That taught y'all definitely. And y'all might say I have a mentor. Sergeant Burgess Scott Vietura is my mentor. Uh, most, and he definitely guided me and he definitely taught me a lot. But I learned a lot from you guys. I really did. The way that you come in and the way that you guys motivated me and the way that you guys executed. You guys, y'all really made me proud. Y'all made me walk with a sense of pride. Now listen, I'll say this right now. How great we are is not because of what I did. I only built a foundation. You guys went out there and you built more on it. You started stacking bricks up and you built a house. And now you got a whole uh, statue. Okay. Again. I thank you guys. Thank you, Batusas. I know you guys, it was tough for you for COVID-19. You guys still maintained it. You guys still came in day in, day out. No matter how much I may put off, it aggravates me, it's annoying. But I do have every love every single one of y'all. And I'm thankful that I had the opportunity to serve along the left and right side. Okay? All right. So now you guys know what's going on next. We got a critical site. All right? So uh, we SP at 1930 or 1945. Correction, 1945.